Hey everyone, welcome back. Apple's iOS 26 beta brings a host of new features and design changes, offering a sneak peek into what's coming up later this year. So, if you're eager to test the iOS 26 or the iPadOS 26 beta ahead of its official release, I have got you fully covered with step-by-step -step instructions. That's it, let's get started. So first and foremost, I will recommend you to fully back up your device. Before doing anything else, make sure to back up your iPhone or iPad using iCloud or Finder on a Mac or using iTunes on a Windows device. Note that beta software is still in development and can be unstable, so a backup ensures your data stays safe in case something goes wrong. After that, you'll have to enroll in Apple's beta program. Know that you will need to join either the Apple Developer Program or the Apple Beta Software Program. Know that Developer Beta is intended for app developers and it requires a paid Apple Developer account. And as for the Public Beta, it is available for free for all users and typically released a few weeks after the Developer Beta. And once enrolled, make sure to sign in with your Apple ID on your iPhone or iPad and then you have to opt in to receive beta updates under the settings section. And once you have taken care of all the basics, open the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. And then you have to tap on general. After that, choose software update. And then you have to select beta updates. Then you have to choose either iOS 26 developer beta or iOS 26 public beta, depending on your program involvement. It's worth pointing out that Apple will likely roll out the public beta by the end of this month or early next month. And once you have selected the beta version, your device will start checking for the available updates. Then you have to go back to the software date section. The iOS 26 beta should appear on the screen. Now you have to hit the download and install option. Then you have to enter your password. And then you have to agree to the terms and conditions and wait for the update to download. And once you have downloaded, make sure to tap on the install now option and you're all set. Your device will now restart and begin installing the beta version. Make sure to keep your device plugged in during the update to avoid interruptions. And also ensure you have at least 10 to 15 GB of free storage. Be prepared for possible bugs or performance issues. This is test software, not a final release. Now, by following these steps carefully, you'll be able to explore iOS 26 and iPadOS 26 and get an early look at Apple's latest innovations. And that's about it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, consider it, and do subscribe for more such handy tips and tricks. And I'll catch you in the next one.